Fortran, a compiled imperative programming language famous as the first ever high-level language designed for humans. It was developed in the 1950s at IBM by John Backus, a guy who was too lazy to write assembly for the IBM 704 mainframe computer. The haters said it would never be as performant as hand-coded programs, but by 1957, Formula Translator became the first computer language standard. At the time, computers were extremely rare, but Fortran was a huge technical breakthrough because for the first time ever, people outside the computer science realm could actually use a computer. Most importantly, the language implemented the first optimizing compiler, which was able to produce machine code just as fast as anything coded by hand. The language has evolved into many different versions over the years, and is still in use today primarily for heavy-duty number crunching and scientific computing. When your grandma wrote Fortran back in the 70s, she didn't have access to fancy tools like editors and terminals, and instead wrote her code on a punch card. Each card represents one line of code and is kept neatly in a stack, where it can then be fed into a card reader to be compiled. The modern developer can get started by installing the Fortran compiler, then create a file ending in .f or f95 to specify a certain version like Fortran 95. Use the program keyword to give your app a name. In older versions, keywords used all caps because the shift key didn't exist on punch card machines until the 1970s. Declare variables by starting with a type, followed by a name, and optionally a default value. Any variable names that start with i, j, k, l, m, n will automatically be considered integers. To disable this ancient feature, use the implicit none directive at the top. Use the character type to create a string by declaring it with a fixed maximum length. Now print that value to the standard output using the executable statement of print star. In addition, the dimension keyword can be used to create an array of numbers, and multiple dimensions will create a matrix. Just be careful not to allocate too much memory because your Apple II only has 4 kilobytes of RAM. Early versions of the language didn't perform fine-grained memory management, but modern versions support pointers that can manually allocate and deallocate memory. But the real killer feature of Fortran when it came out in the 50s is the ability to perform loops. Perform loops. Perform loops. The do and do while loops made it relatively easy for anybody to tell a computer how to do something multiple times. On top of that, Fortran also made code reusable with procedures. A function procedure takes immutable arguments, performs some kind of calculation, then returns a value. It can be called with its name elsewhere in the code. A subroutine is another type of procedure which can take mutable arguments but does not provide a return value. Now, use your favorite implementation of the compiler to convert your code into an executable binary. This has been Fortran in 100 seconds. Let me know if you want to see a full tutorial in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.